At Greenwich Pier, Sir Rupert Delabere, the Lord Mayor of London, is given the Navy's traditional salute by girl cadets as he prepares to take part in the great Royal River pageant that is the city's own coronation tribute to the Queen. The Mayor of Greenwich bids Sir Rupert farewell as he boards a launch to join the river procession. Watermen, who wear the doggett's coat and badge, stand by as the Lord Mayor and Lady Mayoress take their places. Now, mayors and representatives of 26 riverside boroughs and high officers of the city board their launches. Heavy rain starts to fall, drenching the waiting crowds who line the route from Greenwich to Westminster. The Lord Mayor's craft moves off and heads upriver, passing on its journey part of London's dockland, which for centuries has been the hub of the city's commerce. On to Tower Bridge moves the Lord Mayor's procession, and Sir Rupert waves a greeting to the crowds ashore. There are seven different sections in the procession. Landing craft, manned by marine commandos, are part of the service's contribution. Past the Tower of London moves a giant figure of an air raid warden a tableau arranged by the Civil Defence Service. Now Her Majesty the Queen and the Duke of Edinburgh arrive on the south bank of the Thames to watch the pageant from the Festival Hall Pier. The Queen wears a fitted woolen coat of powder blue. The Duke of Edinburgh is in the uniform of an elder brother of Trinity House. Mr Lennox Boyd, the Minister of Transport, escorts Her Majesty across the bridge to the Royal Dais. Wearing their traditional Elizabethan uniforms, the Queen's watermen mount a guard of honour. The oars they hold have not been used since the peace pageant of 1919, and they will not be used again, for the Queen does not possess a royal barge, as did her grandfather. Slowly, the three-mile procession of 200 boats moves towards the saluting base. Trumpeters of the Royal Military School of Music sound a fanfare as they pass. The Lord Mayor, who organised the river pageant, arrives to join the royal guests. The crowds in King's Reach watch the company of watermen and lightermen in one launch, and the members of the Great Twelve livery companies in another salute Her Majesty. A complete replica of a Viking ship heads a part of the procession which recalls the history of London's Royal River. The next magnificent tableau depicts the scene at Runnymede, when King John signed the Magna Carta. Most of the tableau are staged by students of dramatic art. Here's one called the Victorian Age. Throughout its long history, London has held many river pageants, but not for 400 years has there been one so splendid as this. Now comes the Warden, and he too gives Her Majesty a loyal salute. Behind come representatives of civil defence organisations. The Vikings pay their tribute to the Queen. Now a glimpse of the first Elizabethan age. Raleigh, Hawkins and Drake are among the great men of discovery represented. Passing before the Royal Dares comes another historical tableau, an impression of Bartholomew's Fair in the 17th century. The Royal Marines in uniforms of the period between 1664 and 1900. Now come watermen who wear livery and a special badge purchased from a fund bequeathed by Thomas Doggett a famous comedian of the 18th century. Next, a model of the SS Gothic, the ship in which the Queen will travel to Australia and New Zealand later in the year. Many of the different commodities handled in the Port of London are represented in the section devoted to industry and commerce. Private craft, among them three of the proud little ships of Dunkirk, round off London's Royal River pageant. <laughs> 